so look at all of these bee flies. Bee flies are bee mimics, and it's actually an incredible life story for these guys. Um, they not only gain protection by looking like bees, which of course lots of animals assume can sting, and thus people don't want, you know, animals don't want to mess with them, but bee flies themselves are fantastic pollinators, and they really live a devious life. Because not only do they look like bees, but for many species what they do is they actually lay their eggs in solitary bee holes. Sometimes they'll even fly by and shoot the egg into the hole while the female bee is gone. And when, when the baby bee fly, the maggot, you know, as, as baby flies are called, emerges, then it actually feeds on the baby bee and its nectar stores. So, um, this is an incredible little life story. Now, having said that, these guys, and again, there's a couple of them around, are, are very, very good pollinators in their own right. They have this long proboscis, as you can maybe see, and so they can hover and they'll land and they'll have their long little proboscis that they use for, let's see if we get one, I get them focused, and you can, well, Darn it, they're really fast too. But um, they have a long proboscis which they can use to go into flowers. There's two of them right here. Um, but when they do so, see how fuzzy their bodies are? They also then uh, pollinate the flower. After bees, flies are some of the best pollinators. And these guys, bee flies are superior pollinators of early spring wildflowers because you really only see them in the springtime. So I'll let our little bee mimic, our bee fly, be, and go find some other pollinators to, you know, some other flowers to pollinate and hope that he doesn't get too many bees, although, again, he does need to survive himself. The bee fly.